Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario Sunshine. We've done most of Noki Bay now, so instead of doing more there, because we can't really do much more, except for that one blue coin that I don't know where it is. I might not even be able to get that one either, so. Uh, let's do some other stuff. Starting off, let's go to this pipe over here, that we've seen many times before but haven't actually done anything with. And let's just hop in. And now, this is a fun level. <laughs> it's also very dangerous. But it's fun. We have a gigantic slide. That we have to go down. And not die on. Oh, very careful, very careful, very careful, very careful, very careful, very careful, very, very, very careful, very careful. Oh, no, 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 no! I missed. That's fine. And of course, if you die, there's no exiting the level from midair, and you lose life. Not great, but that's okay. We have plenty of lives. Let's see if I can actually make this work this time. Oh, very nice. Just need to make sure I don't slide off of the edge here at the very end. And let's grab the shine. Very nice. Now, what else do I want to do? There's not a ton I can do, but there are still a few blue coins in here I can do. Also, this guy who was telling us about shades in Bianca Hills, if we talk to him now, I believe, I love the sunshine, but oh, is it ever bright. Yeah, little man, try a pair of my special sunshades. They're cool. Yeah, you're styling now. Come back and talk to me when you don't need them anymore. So now we're wearing shades now. I'm sure that many people have had this as their profile picture on stuff. But anyway, there's also other stuff we need to do. It makes the screen slightly darker, so depending on if you like the brightness or not, you can have that. But I'm going to get rid of that for now. Come by any time, it's too bright for you. Uh, okay. Little man. Also, that sun line is getting fairly far out. I believe we need to get it to the island, though, at some point. And I believe somewhere along here is a little hidden underground. Let's hop in here and then get an extra one-up down here. Not exactly required, but it's an easy one to get if you need lives, so... Now, let's actually go into the underground here. And I believe somewhere along here is a little... a little side path over towards the beach that we can use to actually clear out what's over here. So... Another one up. Fairly easy enough to get. And then... What else do we have here? Just coins? Okay, just coins. Oh, and this also leads back over here as well. Cool. That should be everything that we could get there for now, so let's just leave that. And I believe there's a bluebird that we've seen over this way that I want to see if I can get now. I mean, if I can't get it by just waving water everywhere in the air, I don't know how else I'm going to get it. I can't see. There's a pineapple. Where'd it go? It went through the pineapple. There we go. Has a very different has a different sound when it drops. Very nice. And I think there's also still one other um, bluebird we can get still, if I remember correctly. Let's go look at that. Is it up here? Might have scared it off already. Um, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe there isn't another bluebird. It doesn't look like it. I'm just going to assume not then. Anyway, let's go to Gelato Beach again.
Episode 3, Rigola Hoy, full steam ahead. Because last time we kind of ruined his sleep. But, you know, he's back. And he's definitely angry. Understandable, considering... He... He went off out of his sleep in multiple pieces, but, you know, everything's fine. But anyway, the way we need to take him out is by luring him over to one of these things, and then getting him to trip over it. I can't remember what they're called already. The little things that we need to spray for them to shoot sand up. And then we need to go to the part of his body with the arrow pointing to it, and then ground pound on that. Getting angrier. Oh, I'm gonna miss. Ah! Oh, maybe he's gonna hit it? No. Oh, that's a shame. We have to hit him with a different one now, probably. Although this one probably still works. He, he likes to move around a lot. He can even go up the mountainside. Oh, please. Please. Okay, got him. Let's go hit him again. The one that's wriggling has moved to back here. There we go. He must be really angry now. Okay, here we go. I think we want to get him over here now. Oh, there he goes! <laughs> it's so ridiculous how high he can get up there. Oh, he's going back up again. I'm guessing he has lots of different paths he can take, and sometimes he just, based on a random roll, he goes that way. Anyway, let's launch ourselves and see if we can hit him. Maybe... Or not. Okay, then. Well, that's a shame. Now I have to wait. Oh, is he coming this way? Is he, is he coming this way? There we go. Very nice. Oh, he's... I might not be able to get this one because if he's if he's too far in the water, you can't actually ground pound the bit that he needs ground pound. So, oh, that might be a problem. Nope, I got him. And now he's turning to sand and he's gone. I really was rude to him. Like I ruined his sleep in such a horrible way, and then he was rightfully angry at me, so I turned him to sand and just it's just we are not great people apparently. Or I'm not great. Anyway. We got the shine. That's that's the, the game told me to do it, so I did it. You can't blame me. Okay. Let's jump right back in. The sand bird is born! And now that egg that was over there is broken open. Because the sand bird is born and is left. It's gone. Gone for- It's gone forever. You shall never see it again. Okay, well. Let's go do it then. Oh my goodness, don't do that. Ow! Okay. Also, is this thing here? Oh, I know where it is, though. Is that there? No, I don't think it is. Oh well, that's something that will matter later. For now, let's head up this way. Also, we can just wall jump between this bit here, so that works too. And we can also just walk up this thing here and also probably use the hover nozzle to get up a little bit better if we need to. Oh, that's bad. You're supposed to slide down that better Mario. Just like that. Okay, let's try this again. Because we need to jump off of there, bounce off of that, and land in the egg. And now, wel welcome to everyone's worst nightmare. Everyone's. Every single person who plays this game. This is their, this is their nightmare. So, there are eight red coins on the legendary sandbird, and there are also blue coins to collect. Oh, that was a probably bad idea to not save. There are so also some one-ups in some of the clouds, but the blue coins are what matters. And this sandbird is very good at pushing you off, even if you're doing nothing. 
Especially if you're doing nothing, because it's moving. Okay, so... We st oh, I'm gonna actually save with this one, because... If you fall off, you will die. Instantly. Also, I already got most of the red coins. Somehow. Got seven of them. Oh, I fell through! I fell through! I fell through! And there he goes forever. Going at an angle as well. I should have just exited the level. While I was on the cloud. So I didn't lose any lives. I'm a dummy. <laughs> anyway, we have to do this. This entire thing. Without without dying. Also, the camera is changing crazily. You should see the speedruns for this though. The speedrun for this is fun and also really cool. Oh my goodness. Oh. Because they have they 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 launch from the sandbird to the top of the level where you need to be. But you also have to get all the red coins first, I guess. Okay. And we also need to get all the blue coins along here so we never have to come back to the sandbird ever again. Okay, it's flapping a lot, so we go up faster. And now it's turning on its side. So I might wanna get this blue coin quickly. Save. I don't know how many blue coins there are. Okay, now we need to make sure we stay on the sandbird. On its... It's on the side of it. Oh my goodness. Also, this is the level that the Silver Gunner... Uh... In the Sky and the Sea... Song is based on... <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. Everything's fine. I'm pretty sure we're going up fairly quickly now. Don't have to worry about anything else, I don't think. I'm pretty sure we got all the blue coins. So, I guess I got everything here that I need to get on the second try. And I'm actually surprised that I did this well with it. Because this is... Oh, is that a blue coin? That's a blue coin. Oh, no, I was just bragging about this being difficult, and I did it. But also... <sighs> Sandbird, are you gonna come back, please? 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 <laughs> oh, he's turning as well. Well, this is sad. I, I hope he comes back down so I can get back up. I actually haven't seen what happens when I... when he gets to the top and... and all that. Like, does he restart, or does he just go up and down, or... I really don't know. Oh, he's just going down now. I think I'm actually able to survive if I just wait. In fact, if I stayed on the other cloud earlier, on my first attempt, I would probably have been fine. So that's interesting. You, I guess the clouds are actually kind of checkpoints. I wonder if that's how it was designed. I wonder if... When they made this, if they thought, Oh, let's not make it that you should try to stay on the sandbird the whole way up. Let's put the clouds in there so that it can go in a loop, and then the players can go from cloud to cloud slowly. But, I don't know. This is going to take some time, by the way. <gasps> oh, why? Oh. I think that's my fault, but I think the cloud also wasn't going to hold me forever. Anyway, that's fine. But anyway, you may have noticed that we only got seven red coins from being on the sandbird. That's because the last, the eighth red coin is actually on the very top of that pillar in the middle there. So that's what we need to aim towards getting. So yeah, just, yeah, don't die. Also, there's some of these red coins that are slightly floating in the air, which is just super trolly. I'm not gonna lie. Just because that means you have to... Um... What's it called? You have to jump for it, and it's mo it's a moving object beneath you. So, while you're jumping to get the things, you're gonna lose ground. Am I on the right bit? No. Let me get on the right bit so I don't fall off. Also, I don't know if I've mentioned already, but if you can't see an object through like a wall. It makes the object into a question mark so you can't see what it is. So coins have done that a lot so far, so. But anyway, we should be good now to get up to the top. We just have to wait for it to flap a whole lot more. And also, 
as you can see, I'm not moving, but I'm still moving. Because of the weird physics on this sandbird. Okay, up we go. But you know, third try is still pretty good for the sandbird. Not gonna lie. It's still really good. It's also recommended to just get all the blue coins on the first try so you never have to come back. So there we go. Also, don't dive up here because if you try to jump up again to make sure you don't slide off the edge, it will make Mario front flip off the edge, and that's just so much that's just so much worse than just diving off the edge. Well, there we go. The sandbird is complete forever, and I never have to worry about it ever again until the next time I play this game. Because, like, for some reason, whenever I play a game, I just feel like I have to 100% it, basically. I mean, it makes it easier, sometimes, to get, like, to beat the game. But it's a little bit of a weird thing, because it makes you, it makes me feel, I don't know, wary. Like, it just uses up all of my energy to 100% a game sometimes. But anyway. Piantissimo Sand Sprint. Also, 100% in games is what helped me kind of get to, the, to a point where I felt confident in actually beating them at all, so. Because usually, growing up, if I didn't know, if I didn't get everything, basically, I just wouldn't beat the game. <laughs> Anyway, I am Pentissimo the f second, and now we shall race to that flag. Also, when I was, like, super young, I just, whenever I got stuck, I would restart my profile, basically, on any game I was playing. It is a race to the finish flag, and only one can triumph. By the way, the current record is 35 seconds. Are you ready? Then get set, and go! Okay. Goodbye. Just so much faster than him. Just so much faster than him. Just, just so much faster than him. Here he comes. Also, the, this guy is playing a song which is Mario. Anyway. Phew. Ha. Ah, ah, you're pretty good. You have some speed. You have grown ever so slightly in my esteem. Slightly. We will meet again, and... Goodbye. Oh, thanks for the shine. Also, I, I think I'm gonna get that, um... That blue coin now, if I can. Just so I don't forget about it. Also, what happens if I climb to the top of this pole? Does it give me a 1-up? No, it doesn't. Which would be it would have, it would have been a cool reference, but nope. Oh dear, that's not that's not how I want to land. Hang on, let me try this again, please. Okay, and then jump, and then jump, and then hover over to this thing. There we go. Let's grab this coin. There we go. Probably didn't need to save that just there because I'm about to get a shine, but oh well. That's a very tall flag. There we go. Also, it's interesting that uh, Piantissimo and Shadow Mario have the same idol animation. Animation. Sometimes where they're laughing. And it's also interesting that you chase both of them. And another interesting thing, that, like, this is just stuff that I've learned from other people is that, um, under Pianotissimo's mask, because people hacked it off to see what's underneath it, is the running man from Ocarina of Time, or also the, known as the postman in Majora's Mask, I guess. Anyway, enough, all that aside, episode 6, Red Coins in the Coral Reef. I'll be Reef. We can also see Pinna Park from here, which is pretty cool. 
And also... Also, Noki... No, what's it called? Rico Harbor. We can also see R Rico Harbor from here. Uh, do you have anything else to say? You probably say something different every time, but I haven't been checking. Uh, mister, you know where the coral reef is, right? There's something sparkling out there. I'm sure of it. That look in your eyes. I've seen it before. Go get them. Okay, so I'm gonna go over this way and get the blue coins that I can see. Like that one that's just in the middle of the water at the edge. Let me see if I can actually get it. There we go. Oh, there's another one over there. So many things to do. Although this is fun, so let me let me get onto this swing here. And then, if I spray this way, I can build up a little bit of momentum. And then spray again once we get up there, and we can just build up speed and it's quite fun. It's also fun if you jump off, because sometimes you can get an extra spring in your jump. You just go so high. Anyway, let's try and get this blue coin. Unfortunately, this blue coin likes to move like a fish. So, sometimes it can go uh, out of your reach, like behind invisible walls that limit the level, and into the sand, and just lots of annoying things like that, so. But if you, if you um, press Y to dive and then B to go up, you can actually swim kind of faster by just mashing back and forth, so that's what I'd recommend doing. Another blue coin out here. Oh, there's another blue coin moving fish thing. That's going to be fun to get. If I get a like first try though, that'd be great. Oh wow. What is this? What happened? What happened to me? Okay, I think that's all the blue coins in the water. So let's go over to the coral reef and actually get the red coins over here. Which, there are red coins that act like fish as well. Those ones are the ones I'm going to miss, probably. They can go into the reef, so... Like, into it, into it. Oh my goodness, like that. Let me get this coin down here. Oh, it's going into the reef again. Please, 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 thank you. Okay. I think there might be another one that acts like a fish somewhere, but I don't know where. Uh, but there's also a lot of red coins that are just in the reef that we need to go get as well, so... Let's do that. Oh, please get out of the water, Mario, so you don't drown. Also, the music for this level is really good. I know all the songs are basically the same rhythm thing, but they sound so different in the ways that they are played. Kind of? Yeah, they kind of have the same... Uh, what the... what's the... I don't know what the, the thing's called. I learned about that recently where there's songs that have the same, like, bit in it. But yeah. Oh, come on. Grab, 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 grab. Thank you. There we go. That's all the red coins here. And I think this is episode 6 of this level. So I believe we're up to Shadow Mario in this level. Where'd the shine go? There. Like the one bit that's sticking out of the water. Which means we've actually almost finished this level, which is pretty cool. Other than the red coin secret, or secret red coin, red coins, and another secret shine that we haven't got yet. It's Shadow Mario! After him! Okay, whatever you say. Strange voice in my head. Well, let's go get him. Do you have anything to say, sir? You seem to have said uh, something different every single time, but I haven't been checking you. Hey, you! Stop threatening me! What? That wasn't you? You... you can clearly see him there and I'm here. You can... and he so, looks so different and just... Oh, he's moving fast, though. He's moving faster. This one's probably going to be annoying to get. 
which is fine. So fine. Spray, 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 spray. Ow. I'm trying to dive as soon as I side flip because it means I can move faster. But it's, uh, ow. It means I bonk into walls if I'm not careful. Oh, camera, you're not helping right now. Camera, you're not helping. Oh, there he is. Ow. Very nice. Okay. Come on, Shadow Mario. There we go. Dang it, this is uh, this ain't over. Okay then. So there we go. Now we only have one more regular shine in this level. So we might as well try to do that now. But this one is a an interesting one. A very notorious one. So let's let's head in at full speed. The Watermelon Festival. The Watermelon Festival is now open! Why must I stand here? I'd rather be drinking a smoothie. Okay, thank you for telling me your life story. Anyway, let's go see what we have to do. Oh, there's also a, a blue coin here. Let me get that. Give me blue coin or give me death. Preferably blue coin. There's probably more somewhere that I don't know where. There. And good. Oh, there's another one here. Oh, please, don't do that. Grab coin, grab coin. Okay, I think that's all the ones that are hidden in the sand. Probably. So now let's go back over this way actually. Because there's something I need to do as well as everything else. Let me grab this bananas. These bananas. Come here, you. Okay. Let's take it over to that thing all the way over there where the watermelons are, basically. A little bit further than them. Okay. Just gonna go past you. Okay. So, if I can get on top of this building and then drop this banana into this shredder thing here, we get a blue coin. How are we actually doing for blue coins in this level? 19, that's pretty good. Especially because there's one down here which will make us get us to 20. I don't know which one of these coins it is, but. Okay, it's that one. I'm guessing there's not a second one down here. No. Anyway, let's actually see what we need to do now. Oh, get out. Okay. I want to take the biggest watermelon and make a smoothie. Really good ones. And give them to the shine, shine sprites. In appreciation for all they do for us, you know? So we need to keep bring him the biggest watermelon we can find. And he'll give us a shine. But the thing about that is, these watermelons are very easy to break. So like diving into them will probably break them. Oh, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm fine. Okay, well, while I'm here, I'm gonna spray this guy out of the tree. Because if I can get him down here and then spray him again and jump on him, if I can not get flung up in the air, at least. Having multiple cataquacks in the same place is not fun. Okay, if I can if I can spray him and then jump on him, he will drop out his coin. Sometimes this can go into the wall, though. So you need to not... You have to be careful when spawning this blue coin to make sure it doesn't go into the wall. 
because otherwise you can't collect it. Um, let's quickly go over here now, because if we go up to the very top, oh, careful, all the way up to the very top is the biggest watermelon, and we have to get it all the way over there. The Cataquax who try to break it, if we're not careful, we'll just break it. It's gonna be a fun time. And we're gonna do that next time. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all then when we're gonna have a nightmare of trying to get this watermelon to where it needs to be.